Hi and welcome back! Today I'm going to have some fun with my watercolor brushes and I'm actually showcasing a new set by Alte New. This is called Winter Wonderland and it comes with 10 colors and this video is actually part of a blog hop so make sure to visit my blog you will find there lots of fun inspiration and giveaways. Now the colors are a great addition if you have the first set by Alte New. So this is the first set which was called Spring Garden and um, you will get extra colors for your collection but if you don't have the first set it's okay it's perfectly fine because this has all the rainbow colors and uh, you don't really need to have another now uh, in order to make them work you need to take off this yellow ring and discard it put it back together until you hear a click sound and then just push where it says I went ahead and prepared all my brushes and you can see here a little swatch that I made where you can see that you get all the colors of the rainbow all the way from reds to yellows to greens to blues and even violet. And I was uh, happily surprised to find out that there is one of those brushes which is actually metallic so it gives you a lovely shine, silver shine, when you use this brush. So today I'm going to create a card using only these colors, colors from this set and um, I'm going to use a stamp set that I have been holding on to for quite some time. I absolutely love it and I didn't have the chance to use it. This is called Inked Flora and it is great to practice your coloring skills with pretty much any coloring medium and I love that it has those sketchy lines that give that artistic look. So I'm using my Misty here and I'm working on watercolor paper which has enough texture so I need to stamp a couple of times to get a good impression. I'm using black permanent ink just to make sure that when I will go ahead and use water and my water brushes I will not move the ink and make a mess. And now I will go ahead and do the coloring. For the leaves I will use two of the green shades and I will start with a lighter one and cover up completely all the uh, leaf. This way I apply some uh, liquid down and uh, now it is wet and when I apply the darker color it's going to bloom nicely and it's going to give the look that I'm going for. I will repeat the same process on the other three leaves again first with a lighter color and then I will use the darker brush and just add a touch of dark at the base of each leaf. I will let it on its own to bloom but of course you can use a lighter color to blend it even more if you like. Depends on the look that you are going for. To color my flower I will work with uh, reds and uh, yellows. I will actually use the yellow for the center of uh, my flower and I will start coloring each and every leaf individually. For the petals I will mix two colors ruby red and rouge it's pretty much the same technique as I did for the leaves. The base of the petal gets darker and while I go towards the end of the petal, the edge of the petal, it gets lighter. I'm also using a water brush that is filled only with water just to dilute um, the color a little bit as I go towards the edge. Since this uh, design is quite sketchy, I am embracing uh, the imperfection in this flower and I want this to look quite archy and uh, I don't mind if uh, colors bloom into each other. And that's the look that I am going for, but if you want a neater approach then you can uh, emboss the flower with black embossing ink. This way you will have uh, separated areas and when you apply watercolor inside those petals they are not going to bloom to the next petal and you will get a neater result. And I also don't mind if I go outside the lines a little bit, I think that it adds into the um, a whole look that I am going for. So here is my flower ready to go, I just need to add some color at the center. For the center I'm mixing two colors, citrus burst and rouge. Now you can uh, go ahead and cut them out with your scissors, I happen to have the dies so I'm going to use those. I run them through my Big Shot and uh, I'm just popping them out, so here are all the elements for my card. Now for the background I decided to give those uh, pattern papers a go. These have just been released by Alte New and the pack that I am using is called Verdant Walk. It has beautiful designs, the 
paper pages are actually very thick. They are 80 pound cardstock and there are 24 pages inside, all double sided. So you get twice the same design. Now I will use the one with the stripes just because it has those brush strokes that go perfectly with the sketchy look of my flower and the leaves. And as I was looking at this, I thought that this would make a great addition for my Year in Flowers art journal. I think this would look great, even with the pattern paper as the background. But since I'm going for a card today, I'll just stay with that idea. And I can always recreate it and add it as a page on my art journal there. So I'm going to cut this panel into be four and a quarter by five and a half. And then I'm going to try and decide where these are going to fall. I'm just placing them there temporarily and then I'm going to use my paper trimmer very carefully and I'm going to cut out a triangle out of this pattern paper. I'm just trying to make my design look more interesting so I don't uh, just have a flower on top of a pattern paper. And now I can put everything together. I am using foam tape at the back. I'm going to stick those on top of my card base. I am also going to stamp my sentiment. I'm going with black ink for that. And I used one of the sentiments from the same stamp set that says Scent in Love. And now I can stick down the leaves and the flower. For the leaves I went with white glue so this uh, is going to lay flat on top of my pattern paper. But it is going to be a little bit traced against the card base. And uh, for the flower I actually used some foam tape so it is even more raised than the pattern paper. And notice that as I am sticking everything down I make sure that you don't see the edge of the pattern paper. I completely cover it up with the flower and the leaves. And here are some close-up photos on the card that I made for today. I hope you had fun, that you got inspired and don't forget to head over to my blog for the blog hop and the giveaways. I hope you will all have a lovely day and I'll see you all tomorrow with another fun blog hope.